John 10, 15. Sicut novit me pater, et ego agnosco patrem, et anima meam bono proibus. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I give my own life for the sheep. Now we have something of an unfortunate verse break here as Sikut is answering the prior verse in verse 14. This makes sense. Verse 14 and 15 are closing the chiastic structure began in verse 11. Anyway, in what way is Sikut answering verse 14? Well, verse 14 has, I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. One might note that despite the fact we have two different words here, I use the same word to know to translate the both of them. The underlying Greek for these words is the same, and they are themselves synonyms, though agnosko is a little bit more along the lines of to recognize something or someone. This does raise the question, though. Why would the translator use two different words to translate the same one Greek word? There are several reasons why a translator might do this. It may be stylistic reasons. It may be theological reasons. It may be semantic reasons. Realistically, it's probably a combination of those three. At any rate, in this case, the translator saw fit to bring over the Greek word into two separate words in this case. As for the latter portion of the verse, we have et animam meam bono proibos. Now, as I said earlier, verse 14 and 15 are closing up the chiastic structure began in verse 11. In verse 14, we have I am the good shepherd repeated exactly as it was in verse 11. And now at the end of verse 15, we have Jesus saying that he gives his life for the sheep, almost verbatim as it was said in verse 11. Note the only difference in the Latin being the change of person of the pronoun and the person of the verb, and notably the verb itself, though the underlying Greek is the same verb.